Breaking. Credit unions are no longer safe. Planned attacks confirmed. Ransomware attack has caused an outage, causing outages actually for that matter, at 60 credit unions, according to reports by federal agencies and from comments and messages that I've received from Insider Intel and viewers and subscribers. Hey, if your credit union has made the list or if you want to know if your credit union is on the list and more importantly, want to know if your money is safe and how to best prepare to protect your checking and savings, then make sure you reach out. All of my info is below. And for the complete list of 60 credit unions that have been hit by these cyber attacks, which is likely to see a rise in total numbers and for a total amount of money loss from these accounts, which may or may not be completely covered and entirely safe and protected by NCUA, which is basically the FDIC for credit unions instead of like what they do at the banks. Hey, please give this video a like so that YouTube knows and I know that this type of information is important to you and you find these videos and content that I produce to be valuable. Because the last thing I would wanna do is go diving into the deep end head first without a life jacket, knowing that I can't swim. And right before Christmas too, when people are going to be pushed to the limit financially as they stress themselves, buying things, crap for people that they don't even like and stuff nobody really needs. Now, I'm working on putting together a full video on how to easily unplug and detach from society's materialistic clutches and unchain ourselves from this dangerous habit of doom spending and how to move forward towards a more simple and easy minimalistic lifestyle. Now, if that interests you, then please connect with me. My Instagram is linked below. All right, what we know right now is about 60 credit unions in the US are experiencing outages. And this is according to what the federal agency said on Friday. And remember, just like the banks, it will happen on a Friday. So just don't use any money, okay? So according to leaked, Meeting video footage from the FDIC from just a few months ago, apparently letters, messages, notifications, updates, alerts will be sent out on a Friday, Friday night particularly, specifically, of a monetary system, a banking failure, a banking collapse, economic collapse. Now... And all these credit unions, some of them might be credit unions that you have your own personal money tied to, have been completely wiped out over the weekend because of a ransomware attack on an IT provider that the credit unions use. And that means that credit union customers spent the last couple of days completely in the dark and worried about whether or not they will have any money in their accounts if the credit unions open up today. Stay tuned because I will share the complete list of all affected credit unions and to be the first to know, make sure you are watching Patreon for all the latest. There's a link below in the description. So the National Credit Union Administration, NCUA, is supposed to be coordinating with affected credit unions following the latest ransomware attack that impacted a unit of Trellis, which is a cloud computing service provider for credit unions. And just like we've all known for some time now, everything in the cloud is not most secure. So when the cyber attack happened on Friday, the full impact of the outage on credit unions was still unclear, and that remained all the way through Friday evening. And the amount of people panicked and worried about their paychecks and life savings was just unthinkable. Now, the full and complete list of credit unions that were targeted during this attack is still in the works. And as you can imagine, they are trying to do a little bit of damage control and attempt to avoid a run on the credit unions like we have seen in the past when folks would rush to the banks to pull all of their money out before it was too late. But among those affected was a credit union in New York. All right, so quickly, I just want to share with you a somewhat simplified summary of what to be planning and preparing for to happen next. In the insurance claims process for accounts covered by the National Credit Union Administration, the NCUA, typically involves several key steps. So the NCUA is an independent federal agency that ensures deposits at federally insured credit unions in the United States. And 
Here's a general overview of the claims process. Now, number one, first step, the credit union closure or failure. The process begins when a federally insured credit union fails or is closed by its chartering authority. Number two, NCUA's involvement and the NCUA is immediately involved in the process. Now, they either facilitate the transfer of insured accounts to another credit union or begin the process of paying out insurance to the members of the failed credit union. Next up, Verification of accounts. The NCUA will review the records of the failed credit union to verify account ownership and balances. And make sure you listen to this one because it's going to be really, really important. Insurance coverage limits. Whereas the NCUA insures individual accounts up to $250,000. That's a quarter million dollars. This includes checking accounts, savings accounts, money market accounts, and certificates of deposit or CDs. It's important for account holders to understand how their accounts are structured to ensure they are fully covered. Next up, claim filing, if required, and in most cases, account holders do not need to file a claim. The NCUA automatically initiates payments to account holders whose accounts are insured. However, in some cases, particularly when there are issues with account records or disputes over account ownership, account holders may be asked to provide additional information or file a claim. For instance, in a power of attorney situation or something like that. Now, moving on to the next step of payment process. And if the NCUA is unable to transfer accounts to another credit union, they typically make payments to the insured account holders within a few days of the credit union's closing. Payments can be made via checks or electronic transfers. However, this is all going to be predicated and based on the fact that NCUA is solvent and has the available funds and liquid cash available to make these payments. We all know that the FDIC does not have enough on its balance sheets to cover all insured deposits. So NCUA is probably going to be along the same lines. Moving on to not getting paid, we are going to focus on uninsured funds because if an account holder has funds exceeding the insured limit, they might receive a portion of these funds from the liquidation of the failed credit union's assets. And this can take longer and is not guaranteed. Odds are at that point in time, any surplus, if lucky, would be provided to you in the form of a bail-in. And we can discuss that more later if you guys want. Drop a comment down below. If there's enough interest in that topic, then I'll be sure to make a video on that. And lastly, the additional assistance that the NCUA provides is a hotline and other resources for affected members to get assistance and more information about their specific situation. Now, it's important to note that this is a general process and these specific steps might vary based on individual circumstances. And most importantly, account holders at federally insured credit unions should ensure they understand the terms of their accounts and the coverage limits to best protect their assets. So. Reach out if you need some help, because the last thing you want to do is find out the hard way that your credit union isn't federally insured and your money isn't safe and protected, leaving you vulnerable for the next planned cyber attack. And for the customers and account holders of New York's Mountain Valley Federal Credit Union, they reported that technicians were working nonstop to restore their systems, and the NCUA's spokesperson, Joseph Adamali, confirmed the attacks linked to Trellens. Now, I'm going to continue to do a little bit of digging to see just how many credit unions are using this Trellance system, how many accounts, and how much money was at risk in this attack. But most importantly, why was Trellance selected to be used and what other businesses and industries rely on Trellance for cloud storage and data transfer? Because this could hit schools, retailers, hospitals, emergency response, critical infrastructure, all next. I mean, anything is possible. And after just scratching the surface and doing a little bit of digging so far, I discovered this. Trellance expands with acquisition of ongoing operations. Two credit union-focused fintechs reach a deal to expand their combined services to the industry. And the credit union fintech partner Trellance acquired information technology solutions provider ongoing operations in a deal that officials said will expand services and capabilities to clients across the country. According to details of the definitive agreement to acquire ongoing operations announced November 23rd, Trellance will incorporate the IT capabilities of ongoing operations into the Trellance brand. 
Those capabilities include consulting, information security, compliance architecture, and business continuity. Financial details of the acquisition were not disclosed. So, like I said, stay tuned and make sure you get connected to find out all the latest because this is just only the beginning, folks. It's finally happening, and I'm willing to bet that there's a lot more to this than we are being told, and it's only going to get worse. But for now, Trellance itself had not responded to a request for comment, and this attack is part of a series of ransomware incidents that have disrupted critical infrastructure in the U.S. in the last few days leading up to Christmas, including hospitals fuel pipelines, and schools, leading the Biden administration to treat ransomware as a national security risk, which, if you ask me, he should have already been on top of anyway. I mean, there's a huge difference in being prepared and proactive opposed to reactive. But listen, guys, don't worry and don't panic. This isn't to frighten you or monger fear. Just stay smart and stay safe. Now, I want you all to be well equipped and abundantly prepared. And these are the warning signs we have been talking about all along. Stick with me and we will see it through. Thank you guys for watching. More to come. Please subscribe and turn on alerts and notifications. I can tell you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like seeing, not no breath, low dollar. Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler. Now all the girls go follow. All the fake